Why are users switching from Lotus Notes to the Microsoft platform? Most of our customers have standardized on Microsoft Exchange and Outlook for their messaging, and they use Microsoft Office for creating documents and for collaborating with one another. What they want to do is have one single consistent user experience, and so they want to migrate from Lotus Notes to the Microsoft platform across the board to ease the adoption and help make it uh, simple for people to learn and use. They also want to take advantage of the latest technology offered by Microsoft, including the new version Office 2010 that shipped recently. Which Microsoft products can be used to replace Lotus Notes? I think the easiest case is messaging, where messaging, it's Exchange, it's Microsoft Outlook as the email client. Um, then for simple applications, SharePoint provides a lot of the functionality out of the box. So for things like calendars and task lists, uh, for simple listings or for organizing meetings, the SharePoint integration with Microsoft Office is a big help. The most challenging area is for line of business applications that have grown up over the years. These are custom applications that people have created in Lotus Notes. And for those solutions, Dynamics CRM is a great fit. It gives you the ability to handle structured data, more complicated data models, relational data, um, to build reporting into it and aggregation that's not that easy to do with Lotus Notes or with SharePoint for that matter. Now, how do I go about planning for a Lotus Notes migration? The first step in the exercise is to assess what you have, to take an inventory, to go around and count the applications and, and make a comprehensive list. Then the next step is to characterize all those solutions and, and break them into categories, determine how complicated they are, uh, understand who the users are for those applications, how much data is in them, where are these users geographically. Basically, take that inventory and, and then catalog it. After you've done that, then you've got the information you need to map your applications. So you can map those Lotus Notes apps to the Microsoft platform. Find out which ones can be handled out of the box with SharePoint or Office which ones might be a good fit for Dynamics CRM, and if there are any that would be better in custom development, you can identify those as well. Now, where will I find my major challenges in this Lotus Notes migration to the Microsoft platform? Well, I think the, the real challenge is an analytical challenge of figuring out how to map these applications, uh, and then there's another significant challenge which I think falls under change management and that is getting people to change to a new system. It's really never easy to get people to adopt a new system. So uh, it's key to understand that up front, help people buy into the process, and understand what the benefits are for migration. How long does the migration typically take? It depends on the size of your organization and the number of apps that you have, the number of users. Generally, we like to earmark about a month for the first steps that we mentioned, the uh, inventorying and the uh, defining what type of solution you have and the mapping, this planning process is very important. So I, I, would, I would urge customers not to shortchange the planning part. Then the next part is to migrate these applications, and that may take a month or two, and then to uh, deploy and get your users trained on the new application, typically that would happen in the third month. So what we would see is a range from three months to, depending on the number of apps you have, six months or even nine months for migrating your, your applications. Okay, now Jim, you mentioned dynamic CRM. How does that fit in with the migration? The biggest challenge for Notes migration is the complicated apps that people have built as custom apps. We think Dynamic CRM is a fantastic tool for migrating from those apps and getting you to the Microsoft platform. And the reason is it has a lot of pre-built functionality. Some of that functionality was exactly what the Notes apps were built to provide, tracking your 
customers, your people, your contacts, um, trouble tickets, knowledge base, all these things come right out of the box. And advanced functionality like the offline capability that you get with Dynamics CRM. So where SharePoint may have fallen short for these complicated custom apps, we think Dynamics CRM fits the bill. Typically, how hard is it for users to learn the Microsoft platform? I think that adoption and the learning curve are one of the big benefits of moving to the Microsoft platform. And the reason is that the Microsoft Office interface is so familiar to millions of users. Microsoft Dynamics CRM looks and feels a lot like Microsoft Outlook. So the folder structure, uh, the colors, the fonts, the way that it behaves, it's going to be familiar to an Office user. Um, so uh, I still want to stress, though, that you do need to train people. You do need to give them time to switch and give them the support that they need. What we've found is that video training can be very effective. It's not easy to get users to slog through a 200-page manual, but if they can watch a 5- or 10-minute video that walks them through the key steps, that can really make them more confident and help save them time in adopting the solution. I do have to ask in all this, what is going to happen to my Notes developers? So Notes developers are concerned about what their future might be moving to another platform. What we've found is that Notes developers are typically not interested in becoming Visual Studio developers with um, uh, Visual C++ or even Visual Basic. Uh, they don't want to become Java developers. They're much more comfortable with a rapid development environment, and that's what Dynamics CRM gives them. Dynamics CRM lets you configure without coding, so you can build some pretty sophisticated applications just completing a wizard-style user interface. You can add new data elements, you can modify your forms, all without coding, without compiling. So it turns out that you have a very small amount of code as a percentage of the solution. And we think that Notes developers can find this an exciting change for them. How can I be certain that Microsoft will perform as well as Lotus Notes did? Well, the best way to find out is to try it yourself. Doing a pilot can be a fantastic opportunity for the IT staff, the developers, and the end users to really sense what it's going to be like on the platform. Uh, Microsoft's invested billions of dollars in performance and usability of their solutions. But uh, the most important thing is that it works for you, for your business requirements. So uh, we recommend that you pick one or two solutions and make those be the first steps on the path to migration. Great. Now just to kind of summarize everything, what would you say are the major benefits of switching from Lotus Notes to the Microsoft platform? So switching from Lotus Notes to the Microsoft platform taps into new technology that's emerged over the last 10 years. It uses industry standards and it allows you to reach a much broader group of IT professionals and developers who are familiar with that platform. There are even solutions that you can download from Microsoft.com and load up on SharePoint and Dynamics CRM. There's a, a website called CodePlex where you can download free templates that can save you a lot of time. Thank you very much, Jim. What would you recommend to people who want to find out more information on the Lotus Notes migration to the Microsoft platform? We have a white paper on Lotus Notes migration that might be a good start if you go to our website, www.infostrat.com. We'd also be happy to talk to you and uh, come in and, and demonstrate some of these solutions for you to show how it can help your organization. All right, well, thank you very much. Once again, this is Emily Helmuth and Jim Townsend of InfoStrat.